106 would have explained it, but a sympathy seems destined to leave it to Vespucci. The two styles fight even for my handwriting. Their chemicals even produce nothing more than wax in the ears and an amazing first. That seems to even things for those who regard it as a balance or think the wind blows one way. The third day of our voyage was perilous. Multitudinous seas incarnadine. But the small craft that came out to meet us contained us and went sailing into the sunset, carrying only 10 pages of my logbook, 106, 291, 298, 301, 345, 356, 372, 399, 444, and 453, slightly charred by the slow, still, silent instant. And it was in that same instant, as everything is, that we recognized that in addition to our normal crew, we had a stowaway, the author of The Incredible Max, who, alone and unaided, had on a long string, hauled the dinghy automatic writing, out from Deus Ex Machinette, or how else could he be explained? The eloquence of his moustache, you will understand, bulged neatly over and under his belt. He spoke of himself as ceaselessly sweeping up the leaves that fall from the trees. We tried to tell him about the other seasons. Fall down, spring up, we made him repeat. Fall down, sweep up, he... 291. Beep, bit beep, beep. Or the pages, or the faces in the tree silhouettes at night. Around us was the countryside of Whimsy, where, huddled around leaping orange fires, the natives let their cigarettes dangle unlit in their mouths, thinking only petrol or butane could light them. Stripping bark from each native to reveal our track, we followed one string of dulcimer and oats after another. Nothing is lost or confused in this country. Not the Penguin English Dictionary, nor the red pen, nor the yellow pen with green ink, patent applied for. At night in the forest, we slept, listening to the creak of our future oars. Let us, said one of the natives, whose language we could speak but imperfectly, build from these trees a thing which we call a ship. From the wood remaining, I will show you how to make paper. On this paper, once we set sail, I shall show you how to write with a charred twig from the same tree. And if your grandmother is with you, here's how we suck eggs. <laughs> from the shore, we watch the ship approaches. We set sail in small craft to meet the strangers, pausing only to write pages 106, 291, 298, 301, 345, 356, 372, 399, 444, and 453 of the logbook charring 